Hello and welcome to the Virtual Village Hall. Thank you so much for joining me on today's art session. I'm Rachel from I Printed That and I'm really excited today to show you how to make and use one of these. It's a bamboo dip pen for ink. It's really simple to make. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it using some really basic tools. Then I'm gonna show you um, how to use it. We're gonna work through a simple exercise just to get us warmed up. Then we're gonna work through three quick and spontaneous exercises, adding color with watercolors. Now, I'll be the first to admit, I'm not the greatest artist in the world. And sometimes looking at a blank piece of paper puts the fear into me. But as Matisse said, another word for creativity is courage. So will you join me in being a bit create, creative, a bit courageous and uh, making these dip pen inks and having a go? Just some simple sketches. We're not after masterpieces, something really light and easy, something just to take your mind off the worries of today and just have a bit of fun. Great. So what I will do, I'll pop you down and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So the first thing we're going to do is to make our bamboo pen. So I would suggest using a piece of bamboo, um, quite an old one, something that you've just been using in the garden. The reason I say, suggest using this is because it's easier to carve and it also absorbs the ink a lot better. I just snap a piece off, making sure that you've got a, a slight sort of slant to the end and then just using either a Stanley knife or a really good sort of strong craft knife, just start car carving. Now a little bit of a health and safety tip here, always, always carve away from yourself. Use a nice sharp blade and carve away from yourself. And what I'm doing is just carving that into a point. So you can see it's coming off quite easily. Oh, <laughs> and sometimes that happens. So it's fine. We can just go take a bit more off. I may be pressed a bit too hard. And I just want to get that end to a point. Because that's going to be the point that we're that we're going to be sketching from. I'm just going to go extra careful now, just taking a little bit more off the sides. Very carefully, just tiny, just whittling that away. Take it up to a nice thin point. Now bamboo is readily available, which is why I suggest using bamboo, but you can also use a goose feather, just like they did in the old days. And they work really, really well. Exactly the same thing. Just use a, sh a sharp craft knife, carving away from you just to take that into a point. So if you're on a walk by, by a lake, by a river where there are geese, then I would definitely look out for some of these. The, it's the really thick feathers that you want. They work really well. But because these aren't quite so readily available, I'm showing you with a bamboo dip pen. But the feather pens are really beautiful to draw, sketch, and even write with. Okay, so that's our pen made. Just one last bit, as quick as that. So we've got a good sharp point to it. And now we're just gonna have a practice using it. So I would suggest that you use a drawing inks for this. So India ink or drawing ink, any color you want. I'm going to be using black ink today. And we wanna make sure that we know how the pen works, which sounds really silly, but um, you know, it's, it's probably not a writing implement that you've used before. So what I'm doing is just taking a piece of watercolor paper. This is the paper that we're gonna be using. It's an A4 piece and I'm just going to fold it into two and we're going to be using just half of that so I'm just going to be using an A5 piece to do some practice work so let's get a nice clear line just 
give my ink a gentle shake in case any settled to the bottom but we don't want too many air bubbles These usually come with pipettes. We won't be using the pipette today, so I'm just going to put that over to one side on a piece of kitchen towel. And then just dip your pen in. Make sure it gets a really good coating of ink. Take some of the excess off. And just start drawing with it. If you're using a new piece of bamboo, then you might find that it takes a little bit longer for the ink to absorb. So your lines might be a bit scratchy to start with. You might need to dip it a few times, do this a few times. And all I want you to do, we're just gonna spend three minutes. I'm gonna put the timer on. So starting from now, spend three minutes just playing, just making marks. Because that's really all art is, you know, art's such a tiny word, but it can really sort of put fear into us if you're kind of not used to doing it, if maybe you used to do art before, but you've, you know, you've, you've lapsed a bit, you haven't done it for a while. It can be quite scary to start off. So this is just simply making marks. Use the pen backwards, forwards, around in a circle, flip the ink, see what sort of marks that makes. I'm not thinking about any relationship to any of the other marks I've drawn. I'm just testing, testing the pen, make sure it works, make sure I'm happy with how it works. Write your name. Just spend a bit of time not thinking about anything. Just making those marks. We're not after a masterpiece. You might hear me said that a lot today because I think that puts we put so much pressure on ourselves that we think, you know, everything we do, oh, it's got to look good, it's got to be brilliant. But part of it is the process. It's the enjoyment of just doing. So we've got about a minute left of just practicing, just mark making, just using our new bamboo dip pen. So 30 seconds left, you've probably got an idea of how it works for you now. You'll notice that it's very fluid and that's going to be great for the, the three exercises that we're going to be doing next. So just 10 seconds doing this. And that's our time up. So you might like to just add the date now, which I always find is quite useful. Um, and also the method that you've used to make your sketch. So I'm going to write, it's a bamboo dip pen. And it's just mark making three minutes. So that was nice and easy, wasn't it? So we're going to just move up a level, uh, still just using the bamboo dip pen. We're not gonna use any colors at this point. And now on the screen, I'm gonna share with you um, a, an image of an honesty seed head. So we've got some really good, simple lines. So 
if we just spend a couple of minutes, a couple of moments just looking at what we've got on the screen. So we've got some elongated sort of oval shapes. We've got some very fine lines within those shapes. We've got some great um, negative spaces where the sort of very small branches overcross. We've got some triangles there, some kind of rhombus shapes. So that's what we're going to be drawing now. Now, I'm only going to give you two minutes to draw this, so really quick. So I want you just to really kind of draw very spontaneously. Don't really think about what you're drawing. Spend more time looking at the image than you do actually looking at the paper. So I'm going to draw along with you. I'm just going to remove that piece of paper. So I've just got another A5 piece of paper to work from. Try not to get covered in ink. There we go. And guess what? I'm covered in ink. <laughs> Always. Okay, actually it's quite nice. There's already a couple of smudges on there. So that's good for me already that I've, I've made a mark so I'm not so scared of the paper. Then I just set my timer for us. So it's set at two minutes and we're going to start. Okay, so we've got a large piece here. Whoop. And you'll notice that the pen wants to do all sorts of things. And you're just guiding it another branch coming off here. These two are very close together. And there. These are gorgeous, these seed heads. So I, I grew these, they self-seeded in my garden. Um, they just came out of nowhere and I didn't know what the flower was originally. It's just quite, quite an inoffensive little um, white flower. And then in the, in the autumn time, this was sort of October. These beautiful seed heads emerged, and I knew they were they were honesty. So let's just check how we're doing for time. Oh, so we've got just a minute left. We're going to keep going. So we've got this triangle shape that comes here, down here to. That's sort of about the same. This is quite a good one to do as well, the exercise where you don't actually look at the paper. You don't look at the, yeah, look at the, you don't look at the paper at all. You just look at the image. That's quite a fun one to do. It's quite nice. You've got to, you've got to be really kind of quite courageous with that and just direct and just, just do what you think. Let's see for my time. So, and that is time up. So there we go. That's our first exercise over and done with. As I said, we're not looking for masterpieces. It really is just kind of what you see, what you feel. Let's get rid of the timer. And now we're going to start adding a little bit of colour to our sketches. So again, watercolour paper. I'm just going to halve it. Some of the ink off my hands. Half the paper. So that I'm not looking at a massive blank sheet of paper. And for our next exercise, we're going to use an agapanthus seed head. So that you can see that on the screen now. So I'm going to give you a little bit longer this time. I'm going to give you four minutes. We're going to do two minutes with colour. 
um, just putting adding our color and then we're going to add some more detail with the ink so i'll just bring it up onto my screen I'm going to set the timer for four minutes. And we'll just spend a couple of moments before I start just looking. So this isn't within your four minutes, just looking at the shape. So it's kind of like a firework, but we've got these um, sort of cardamom pod shaped seed heads on each of those um, those lines coming out of the the middle of the seed head so just take a take a moment just to look we've got more kind of on the right hanging lower um, and then there's some on the left that's a bit higher up a couple just at the top and then a few sparse ones um, towards the bottom of the seed head so just take a few moments to look just have just use your eyes to go around the shape of that seed head around the shape of each of those little seeds the spiky lines okay and then we're ready to draw so as I said we're going we're going to use our watercolor paint first off and we're going to do a technique called wet on wet so we're not going to let the watercolor dry before we go in uh, with our ink now I don't worry I haven't started the timer yet because before I start the timer we're just going to mix up our colors So I'm not going to be too definite on the colours, but we're just going to go for some greens and some browns. So these are just watercolour paints. You can use them from a tube. I need to add a bit more yellow to that one, make it a little bit more acid. We've got a darker green there. And then just slightly darker that one too. So again, we're not looking at detail, we're looking at shape. And we're just looking at sort of main colour. Okay, so if you're ready with me. Put this to one side. I'm going to start the timer for four minutes and start painting. So I'm going to go So just working round the clock as it were, adding each of those seed heads. Doesn't have to be accurate, but we're just getting a, a feel for where the seed heads are. I'll just make that one, it's a slightly brown one towards the top, around here, also here. Go back to my green. There's not much in the middle and it looks like I'm going to go off the page. I quite like that because that that adds to the, the size of these seed heads. It really gives you some depth and some thought for the, the way that they just burst out. Dark green. Um, yeah, no, this is actually, if I look at the picture, this part is, there's not much here at all, so I'm going to leave that and be brave and leave it. Sometimes leaving things can be the bravest decision. Just got a few more to fill in here. So let's check the time. Oh, OK, so we've got about 15 seconds left just putting our colour on. So a slight bit more grey down there. A bit of brown down there and 
just a bit here. Okay, so that's about 15 seconds. So now we're going to go back in with our bamboo pen. And this wet and wet technique, so where the water is, uh, so where it's, it's not very dry, we're going to get some great kind of explosive um, effects. So let's start drawing these in. I'm going to draw in these lines just very, very gently. Make sure I've not got too much ink on my pen. Oh, that one went big. <laughs> now I'm just adding the middle part and all the connecting stalks I've got the main stem here if I had a bit more time I might put a few more of the individual seed heads on. Looks a little sparse. But yeah, I quite like that. I think it's um, David Hockney who famously says, draw what you feel, not necessarily what you see. And I just see an explosion and some explosion of seed heads. Ah, and that's our time up. Okay, so that's wet on wet where we've added colour first and then we've drawn into it. So now for our next exercise, I'm going to show you a picture of a globe artichoke. It should be on your screen now. And again, we're going to use a similar principle, but this time rather than putting the um, colour on first, we're going to put the ink on first. So again, just spend a couple of moments just looking at the globe artichoke. So it's a really tactile plant, um, plant of what's well, a, it's actually a seed head um, that the Italians especially grow and cook and then serve it with butter, um, each of those little sepals. Um, so it's a really tactile plant. You can see each of those kind of very soft arrowheads coming into the middle, bunching around that main part the middle part of the flower so those are the sort of shapes that that we're looking to get kind of rounded arrow shapes and um, we're going to mix up our paint before we start again so that gives us a little bit more a bit more time so again we've got some greens but i'm going to just take those down a bit got some very light greens there's a couple of quite zingy greens as well so let's Take this up with some yellow. And there's also this purple. Let's try and get that a bit. Well, that's going to be a difficult colour to get. I think there's quite a lot of magenta going through that. A little bit more pink to add to that one. So I grow um, on my allotment, I grow a similar plant to this. It's, it's from the same family, but it's called a cardoon. And they, again, have these lovely rounded seed heads, um, although they're not as nice to eat. Um, and when they go, they turn into kind of thistle heads when they see, set seed and you get these huge like dandelion seed heads floating around and the bees go absolutely crazy for the, the flowers before they before they set seed and they're a very architectural plant the leaves are gorgeous okay so 
think we're good with our colours mixed up. So with this one, as I said, we're going to start using, it's, it's going to be wet on wet again, but we're going to start by using uh, inks. So we're going to be drawing those shapes and then we're going to go in and paint using the watercolours. So I'm just going to check our, um, uh, put the timer on. So four minutes, are you ready? Okay, so let's start. Again, try to look mainly at the, the image rather than the paper itself. It's gorgeous overlaps. Try and make this more kind of frilled like it is on the picture. Try and quickly get this middle part in. Double check our time, see how we're going. Okay, again, we've got about 15 seconds left, just putting these in. So we're just working again really quickly, we're getting a real kind of sense rather than actual detail. Okay, so that's our two minutes doing the our ink. So now I want us to go in with our with our colours. Oh, I'm delaying. <laughs> don't, don't think about it, just do. Okay, so I'm going to add some of those, that green, let it touch the ink, let that blend. I'll stick to my lighter greens. Slight pale, bit, slightly blue, these greens under here. That's a little bit too blue. more acid green in the middle. Ah, now I've got five seconds to put that that, that purple in. I think that's over five seconds, isn't it? There we go. Just quickly fill that in. Yeah, I'm being generous. I'm giving you a little bit more time. There we go. Mm. 
Okay. So just in a few minutes, we've created not masterpieces, but just some really simple sketches that we can refer back to. We tried some mark making, and we did a very simple line drawing, and then we added colour. Um, I say not masterpieces, but it was in, it was, it's an enjoyable process. It's something that maybe you can work up from, give yourself a little bit more time. But what I would say, whatever you do, don't stress about it. It is really, art really is just making marks on paper. So I hope that's inspired you to have a go yourself. Um, if you've been watching live, then it's always lovely to, to hear your comments. If you're watching this on the call, then you can obviously pause it when you need to, if you need a little bit longer for each exercise. And also, if you haven't got time to do it today, if you've watched it, then you can just press the save button and then that will save this video so you can come back to it later. And you can always share it with your friends or in any art or craft groups that you're in. Thank you so much for watching today. Um, I hope you have a rest of a good, a good rest of the day. Take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye.